The Browns have made it official. No Deshaun Watson for Sunday's game against the 49ers. Joel Batonio will also be sitting for this one. David Njoku is questionable, uh, so that means P.J. Walker will get the start at quarterback. Michael Dunn will be Joel Batonio's placement on the offensive line. Let's welcome in Brad Ward, Orange and Brown uh, uh, report, as well as the All Eyes on Cleveland podcast. And Brad, there's like conspiracy theories going on and all kinds of stuff with Deshaun Watson. I, I, I'm not buying it. Are you buying any of that? I am not, Dave. Uh, I am not subscribing to those theories. Uh, I feel that I understand why people have gone there because the messaging from Stefanski and Barry has not been great on this from day one. Uh, but I got to say that I think this is just a miscalculation of what the timeline would be on this injury, right? Uh, what the recovery timeline would be, what the actual injury was initially, maybe was uh, they thought was going to be a quicker heel than it actually is. Um, I don't think there's anything nefarious going on here or they're hiding things or anything like that. Uh, as a lot of that stuff is floating out there. And I understand fans are frustrated, right? You want to see this guy play. Uh, but I just don't I don't think that's what's happening here. Yeah, I tend to agree with you. The, the other one, you know, people are questioning his toughness, which the guy played with a collapsed lung in in um, when he was with the Texans. It's different when it's your throwing shoulder and, and you know, that's, that's the way he makes his living. And anytime it's, and, and I know it's not a rotator cuff tear, or at least it hasn't come out, but rotator cuff and throwing, that's a concern. Yeah, I mean, you know, I've talked to the same doctor through this whole thing. He's a guy that works with some NFL players. And basically, I mean, if your rotator cuff is, is you know, he said the same thing as what Mary Kay reported, like two to six weeks, right? And um, anything that you do in front of your body, right, with your arm, so follow through, any of that is going to be restricted motion-wise. So I don't think, like, when people say toughness, I think they think, like, okay, you know, the NFL, uh, you know, just shoot them up, send them out there, right? Pain tolerance type stuff. And I don't think that's what this is i think if it was a pain tolerance issue he would be playing dave uh and i think it's more of probably a restrictive uh or a motion restriction right that that we're dealing with here more than uh just you know fighting through the pain uh and i think i think that's what people think it is uh and they're like drawing uh that conclusion or assuming that's what it is and that he's not willing to pay play through that pain uh i i think we're dealing with a guy that probably isn't effective as a thrower uh yet and so why would you want to put him out there in that situation yeah and again as i was a pitcher in college if your rotator cuff there are some things where it's like I feel like I'm throwing the ball hard, and it's just not going anywhere. That's kind of what what I think is going. He's going through.